Hello, my name is Otta Bernier and I am the founder and CEO of Skill Crush and I would like to welcome you to this episode of Skill Crush TV where I share with you the answers and resources that you need in order to build a career in tech. These days, everyone is talking about making money with blogs, but how are they doing it? Is it magic? Wingardium Leviosa. Ooh. Bloggers used to make a killing selling ads, or at least that's the rumor. But I hate to break it to you because ads are dead, and I mean D-E-A-D, -E dead. Sure, you can still bring in a trickle of cash from ads, but without millions of page views, you're gonna have to find another way to make a substantial income from your blog. That said, there are people making money off their blogs and ads are only a tiny portion of it. Today, we're gonna talk about seven ways to make money on your blog without advertisement. Number one, you can write an ebook. If you blog about a specific topic on a regular basis, then you are absolutely an expert in something. What you should do is look at the popular posts on your site and figure out what value it is that your readers are getting from them. Then take that topic and expand it into a self-published ebook. You can take a hint from Lindsay, the food blogger behind the popular site Pinch of Yum. After enough emails asking for photography tips, Lindsay created her first food photography ebook, Tasty Food Photography. Number two, you can start a subscription or membership service. If you already have some awesome blog content, then you should think about providing even more valuable content to paying subscribers. You can also think about creating an online community for your members. Business and life coach Allie Brown has a super exclusive online membership program called Elevate, where members pay hundreds of dollars a month to get online business coaching. The popular blog Copy Blogger for copywriters also sells a membership called Authority, where you get unlimited access to all of their seminars, webinars, and PDFs. Number three, product placement. Okay, so I promised no advertising, and I guess I was fudging that a little bit because product placement is technically advertising. But it's a form of advertising that is actually making a lot of bloggers a lot of money. You see, brands are willing to make deals with bloggers who are willing to feature their products. And it doesn't have to be scammy. Instead, what you can do is you can think about products that you already love and that you would write about anyways and talk to the company about featuring them in your blog. For example, let's say you run a food blog and there's a certain type of flour you really like. Well, there's no reason that you shouldn't tell your readers about this flour that you really like and make money from the company for talking about it. That way you can make some dough while you make some dough. Get it? <sighs> Number four, use your blog to get freelance work. Maybe you don't want to make money from your blog, but you want to make money through your blog. Here's what I mean. On your about page, you should let your readers know that you are available for hire. Are you a brilliant photographer? Take on photography jobs. Are you an amazing writer? Take on freelance writing jobs. Are you really excellent at Pinterest? There are so many companies that will hire you to run their Pinterest marketing strategy. Food blogger Katie of Katie at the Kitchen Door includes a work with me tab on her blog so readers know they can hire her to develop recipes and take photos of food. Number five, consult. Running a blog makes your readers see you as an expert, so don't argue with them. If you're a food blogger, test recipes. If you're a fashion blogger, let people hire you for personal style consultations. Do you blog about a special diet? Help your readers by helping them put together a meal plan. Jill of Jill Gigi's Good Life offers personal style consultations to blog readers who are looking for more. Number six, sell something. Let's not forget about selling actual physical objects on your blog. You can sell granola, branded yoga mats, earrings, lights, decorations, photography guides, really the sky's the limit. You should try selling anything that makes sense for you and your blog. Jesse and Tara of the lifestyle blog How You Glow package and sell their very own granola. They call it Glonola. Number seven, you can teach a class. You are already a computer savvy blogger, so why not design, create, and package your very own e-course? You can even package it up with your brand new ebook for an extra bonus. 
John and Dana of Minimalist Baker have this dialed in. They turned their baking blog into a paying gig and now they teach other bloggers how to do the same through free tutorials and their food photography e-course. Are you ready to turn your blog into a money-making machine? Well then I want you to say goodbye to ad sales and explore one of these seven ways to monetize your blog. And if you're excited about monetizing your blog, then I want you to share that excitement with your friends. Tweet this, ads are dead. Seven better ways to monetize your blog in 2014. And if you have any questions at all about blogging, technology, or how to make money online, I would love for you to send me an email because I love email. You can reach me at hello at skillcrush.com.